Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg, and if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, first buff. this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC. Light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blakowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Hiding at a Mechakala, Russia, Magomed and Galaga. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. What a punch. Slips the left hand. All right, DC, he's got the over-under now. He's got the over-under. He's going to look to lift that. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Blahovic. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Ten seconds to go in round one. Round two is next. Stop, stop, stop. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice strike landed there by Blahovic. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Some nice back and forth action here. He lands a switch deep. Great punch, landing with so much power. Oh, Ooh. big knee. Oh, and again, another big knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> That knee might have landed there. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the, the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Right in the side control, yep. Right, Under a minute to go in the round. 
All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial oh, arts from the bottom, oh. but nice work here in that position by Blahovic. Stop, stop, stop. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, we probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, let's take a look back at the previous round. It is a bloody Saturday night, courtesy of those elbow strikes, champ. I mean, Muay Thai at its best. In tight, over the top with the elbow, coming up with the elbow. He's doing so many different variations of those elbows. All of his coaches at his Muay Thai camp would be very proud of the performance that he's putting on right now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Shot to the body here, blocked by Blahovic. Oh, big knee. big knee there. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Beautiful level change leads to the take. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get to the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, he's got his back now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. I mean, how many can he take? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Both fighters back to their feet now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick land. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Blahovic. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Blahovic. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Powerful leg kick land. 
tonight. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, tie club. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, my goodness. Knee to the body. He went high on that one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Great punch. This might just be a matter of time. Getting tighter. And there it is! He got him! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop for this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Magomed Eskalaga! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew